Good afternoon, everyone. Tractor Man 44 here. <laughs> you know, I tell you guys I'm a sucker for a bargain. Told you that many times. Um, gonna brag a little bit on my old truck here. I got an old 85 Ford. It's a 460 uh, F250. I put a one ton rear end under it. And, uh, it's beefed up. It's a little bit heavy. Put a flat bed under it. You'll see that in a minute. But uh, it's got about 60,000 miles on it. Uh, I got this as an old farm truck from my uh, from one of my uncles. Uh, kind of got in the habit of buying his trucks as he bought new ones. I bought his 76 Ford back whenever he bought this 85. Uh, it was nine years old at the time. It had like 22,000 miles on it. And then uh, in 94, which was what, 23 years ago, I bought this truck when he bought a brand new 95. And this one had uh, like 21, 22,000 miles on it. And uh, I've got 69,000 on it now. I always had a company truck. So I always wore out everybody else's trucks, you know. Uh, company was company bought them, <laughs> paid for them, you know, let me drive them, and uh, so I had a pretty good, pretty good uh, experience, I guess, with my own personal vehicles. Uh, but this old dog, I couldn't drive it much anyway because that 460, and I think I told you the other day, it's punched out 30 over, you know, and and got just a bump in a cam, so it it sucks uh, sucks a lot of gas. But man, it pulls just about anything hook onto it. Um, but I do have a a, um, a Cummins. 3500 Dodge. Uh, I don't think this 460 can hold a candle that Cummins. Uh, just ain't no, that just ain't no comparison. I do believe that Cummins will pull the rear end plumb out of this thing. But at any rate, that has nothing to do with the story today. The story today is, like I told you, I led into it saying I'm a sucker for a bargain. And uh, and uh, like I said, I, I, <laughs> I, I get an opportunity to pick up something, you know, cheap, you know, or free or whatever. Uh, that that's It's got my name on it. I'm going to go for it. Um, I don't have a bandsaw mill. I, you saw one of my little bitty videos I put up. Uh, just a, you know, it, it's a circular mill and it's a toy. It's not really a, much of a mill at all. I do have in the works a much, much larger mill that I do have to uh, build a shed for and and uh, reassemble it and everything. And it's it's going to have to have a few uh, modifications done to it, you know, because it, it's old. But at any rate, uh, my brother had a, an old mill back in the woods, and uh, his son, uh, what, my my oldest nephew actually. Uh, had pretty much given it to me, you know, a number of years back. Uh, his father-in-law, I think, gave it to him, oh, heck, I'll bet you 25, 30 years ago or so. And maybe not quite that long, but more than 20 years ago. And uh, we went back in the woods and hauled a tractor up to his yard and brought the sawmill back up to my brother's place. Been sitting up there ever since. So I uh, finally had the opportunity today to go get it because uh, I'm thinking that there's going to be some parts in it that uh, is going to be beneficial when I put my big mill together. But at any rate, let's come on back here a little ways and uh, we'll take a look at what I got on the old... Uh, the old homemade gooseneck. Looks like a bunch of rusty stuff. Well, it really is, but it's pretty much a, pretty much a total sawmill. Uh, there's all kinds of good pieces and everything here. Uh, you can see the uh, you can see the ratcheting mechanism here. I forgot what you call that particular part, but that's what you uh, index the logs um, into the uh, into the into the saw blade with. You know, it's mounted on your on your carriage assembly. Uh, there's one of your, your head blocks right there, and uh, there's all your, your pulleys down there, the big big diameter pulleys that actually pull the carriage back and forth. Uh, here's the main head block right here. That would be the leading head block as it comes into the, uh, into the arbor. And of course you can see that uh, two and a quarter inch, maybe two and three eighths inch solid steel shaft back there with the big flat belt drives on it. Uh, that's the main arbor, of course, and you can see the, the blade it looks to be without putting a measuring stick on, I'm say a 48 inch blade, something of that nature. But you can see the other flat belts, you know, the idler pulleys and all this stuff. Uh, all these are different uh, reductions that you use for making the, uh, the, sawdust, uh, the sawdust chain, chain drive and all that stuff. Uh, it's just pretty cool. Uh, we did only find three axles for the carriage. Uh, we kind of, well, we didn't remember it had three or four. Uh, it's not uncommon to have a, a three-axle carriage. It's just to be a short one. We're thinking this might have been one of those typically short ones. It's only, uh, you know, maybe 9, 10, maybe 12 foot long, you know. But right anyway, here's your second head block. And, of course, the knee's missing the, uh, you know, missing all the important stuff. But that's no big deal. Uh, like I said, I don't think that this one's ever going to uh, to run again. But uh, it will supply me parts, I'm sure, from my, my much larger mill that uh, is slated to be put together one of these days. You know, with a name like Tractor Man, you would think there'd be some tractors sitting around. And uh, sure enough, I think right here, you can probably see a, an old Oliver 77. There you go. <laughs> but at any rate, back to the, uh, the good load. The blade, nah, it's not an inserted tooth. You know, it's not a very good blade. Uh, oh, it could probably be made, it could probably be filed and, 
and cleaned up a little bit and be used for you know junk cutting you know and i might do that don't know but anyway check out the uh the guide assemblies there's actually two guide assemblies uh, i don't know if i'm getting the camera right in it or not but uh this one here is uh eg adkins and company uh from indianapolis indiana and it's patent date if i can get right down to it i don't know if you can actually see it or not its patent date is uh april 7th 1885 and then here's another one here which is really pretty cool it's the uh the who who guide manufacturing company uh by jb reed in cairo illinois i'm sorry who who guide manufactured by jb reed cairo illinois i don't think that one was actually used uh i i think this one here is the one that was actually functioning and and, and on and being used but at any rate there you go the whole thing in a nutshell just another quick overview uh just a whole big pile of Get a whole big pile of junk, you know, but uh, one thing about it, it's a good pile of junk, and it's going to be a fun pile of junk to, to, to work with. But anyway, man, uh, this is Tractor Man 44. I am out of here. Got to unload this stuff down. Get her oiled down, man. Get it ready to use. See y'all later.